I made the first track, Italo's theme. And I was just making it, and I was thinking a little bit about Italo, and also like some Dutch electro that's, you know, Italo referencing, and kind of thinking, you know, well, what I really like about this stuff is it's sort of exploding with like colors and joy, and it's like this big, you know, of, of life. And, um, and so I made the first track, and I was kind of thinking about that when I, when I started, and I just named the file Ital. I thought, well, you know, it's kind of like a Talo, but you know, like oh, Ital too, because <laughs> it's a little dubby or whatever. You know, Ital food is like the Rastafarian cuisine or whatever. And then I don't know why I just kept naming you know, the, the tracks Ital, and then for some reason it stuck. It came out on, on Planet Mew. Um, it was this past summer, and I, I was kind of thinking. Ugh. I might as well write to a couple labels that I would like to work with. And a friend of mine, Marcus, used to work at Warp, and I forgot that he was working at Hyperdump, so I wrote to the Hyperdump email, and he writes back, he's like, hey Daniel, it's Marcus. And I was like, oh shit, what? that's right, man, what's up? And he's like, yeah, I don't think this would work, and I didn't really expect it to go, but I figured I should try. So then I was like, well, I'll try Planet Mew, because they're also like wonderful, and they were like really influential with the footwork stuff they were putting out for me. I felt like that was just such an awesome like uh, shot in the arm um, for electronic music this past year. And so I wrote to them. I forgot that Marcus was also working for Planet Me. <laughs> I wrote to the main guy and I also wrote to Marcus. Um, and he's like, he's like, hey Daniel, it's still Marcus. And I was like, what do you think it would work <laughs> at Planet Mew? And he's like, maybe. I'll talk to Mike, who's the owner. And, uh, and yeah, you know, it just it kind of worked out. Uh, it makes it sound like it was some nepotism or something like that. <laughs> but uh, no, I just figured I didn't really have anything to lose by writing. You know, it's, it's like they weren't going to be calling me, you know. <laughs> It's, it's a little more raw um, than the record. I mean, um, it'd be really hard to pull off all the edits. Actually, it'd be um, pretty much impossible to do the tracks the way they sound recorded because they're recorded with a lot of editing and some audio sculpting. Um, and it's very, like... They're not live performances at all. It's very unlive. Um, and so I, I just use, like, a uh, Electribe sampler and, and kind of take the, the key, you know, most, like, fundamental parts of the songs and, like, build up new th sort of extrapolations off of that. It's, like, pretty raw and energetic. Uh, I love playing live. It's, like, my favorite shit.